Hey everybody, I am on for the midweek message reveal Wednesday, October 4th. 10-4 over and out. <laughs> Been saying that all day. Um, I think it's really interesting too because we now have three planets that are in Libra. So that is Mercury, which just moved in today, Mars, and the Sun. So communication with Mercury and Libra, you know, Libra wants to wants to balance, wants it's the midway point of the zodiac. Um, this air sign wants to take things to a level of the interpersonal and have communication and balance and wants to have a consideration for the other, wants to be the, the go-between, the counselor, right? And it's so interesting because now we've moved into a space where our situationships, our friendships, our relationships, um, love, finance, and the things that we you know find as beauty are now all highlighted. And on 10 4, over and out, uh, we move with Mercury into Libra that now is going to be highlighting how we communicate. Now, the, the converse side of this is that you're going to want to take a look at where you are letting other people have too much of a say or too much of an opinion uh, regarding things that you yourself are feeling. So don't be afraid to speak up for yourself because Libra and its detriment can kind of be a little people pleasery. That's okay. Um, but at the same time, really allows the other party to participate and sees and expresses a sense of, of the whole. And that is really the energy that we're really moving into here. We also have the eclipse in a uh, solar eclipse in a new moon next week in Libra as well. So you might be feeling a little bit of that heightened sort of agitation feeling that's coming through. Now eclipses are going to amplify the energy and it being in Libra, those things that I just were speaking about are going to be a bit more amplified. So there's going to be more of a highlight around relationships and the their importance. Also what you are putting up with and what you are wanting and what you are calling in with a new moon, um, the seeds that we're looking to plant in the future. All right, so that's the temp check here as we have this week. Uh, please stay tuned for the to the end of the video because I am going to be announcing the winner of the intuitive reading um, for checking out the site. So I wanted to go ahead and remind everybody about that. Also, I will not reach out to you, DM you or anything like that for readings. So keep yourself safe. This is my only account. All right, so I'm going to jump into the cards. And this week, the focus was really on what is it that we're looking to call in? What's the higher self really asking? Like, all right, so we're trying to work on these things in the forefront. What is it that is in the forefront? So these cards are really fun. Very basic though, and kind of up to interpretation, which I think is the thing I love the most about Oracle cards. All right, so if you chose one, your card is flow. I'm gonna bring this forward and try and make sure that the light doesn't make it too shiny. They're very slick. All right, so I want you to pay attention to the color most. When we're looking at blues and turquoises, especially aquamarines, we're looking literally at the flow of emotions and the feelings that are connected to. Now, this also is indicative of the throat chakra, which is going to be talking about communication, the, wh how we speak ourselves into existence, how we, we present ourselves in, in a way that we can stand up and say, this is what I want, this is who I am. Now, the difference here is that what we're asking for universally is that we can roll and flow with the way that life kind of brings its challenges and its moments of, of great joy and its you know its moments of, of, of despair and detriment and that we're able to kind of pick up and move along so we're not stuck in a space that has us um, you know constantly wondering what's going to happen next so relinquish control here one you're going to really want to think about ways in which you can find a sense of emotional release too because the current the water having to do with the subconscious and also our emotional selves so where is it that you can find a space that you can allow yourself to flow a little bit relinquish control around how things have to look and the how itself the how is none of your business it's the hardest thing to say but it's the truth the how is none of your business this is what you what you get to have a response to is your reaction right and it's it's one of the toughest lessons it's one that <laughs> me as a type a personality also has a difficult time with so i feel you on this but try and go with the flow try and allow yourself some space try and give yourself a pat on the back and when things seem to be amplified to the point where you are responding out of out of a rush of emotion can you give yourself a three count breath before you make a decision before you say something perhaps too quickly or respond from an emotional place um, because you're going to want your wits about you this is the energy is going to be conducive for things like that okay 
All right, moving on to two. If you chose two, your card is consciousness. And this color is a very muted white. Um, in this deck, they consider this to be the white cards. And white, you know, having all of the, the colors contained within and reflective, um, consciousness is the same. Um, I'm really drawn to the fact that there are three circles. So this is, I see this as the, as the versions of, of the spiritual, the physical, and the emotional self. Um, and how we are moving in different rings where it seems like things have been pretty cyclical with you uh, too. You're, you're in another spiral again. You're in another, another version of something that feels very similar around your ability to discern your life path. Um, some choices have come up around, you know, your happiness and what it is you're willing to put up with. What is it that you really want? And, you know, in a, in a greater sense, you know, considering, you know, what is life all about? You're having some big thoughts. And these big thoughts don't necessarily have any sort of um, small or definitive answer that you can find. And that's okay, because it's designed for you to get to a space where you start to expand and see yourself as connected to everything. So where is it that in, in your in your day to day that you can take some time to reconnect and have those big, deep thoughts? Are you taking time out to sit, even if it's for a minute or two with yourself in the morning and just check in and say, hey, this is how I'm doing. How are we feeling? Or what is it that I'm really wanting to accomplish? Have you taken the time to take yourself out of the the day to day grind and really connect with yourself on a level that sees you as as the spirit within, not the person going to the nine to five who's stuck in traffic and washing the dishes and in a perpetual cycle of folding laundry or not folding it. I'm just being funny. Um, where is the you within? Have you connected to them? How do they show up? Are they even considered in your day to day? And if they are, they want more time, the time with yourself, uh, the moments where you can have a contemplative cup of coffee alone, or even, even just listening to, you know, the wind through the trees as you're, as you're standing outside waiting for the dog to take a pee, you know, like it can be something so small, but you have to step into a space where you're actually conscious of your I amness the source within the fact that you are part and parcel of every single thing that there ever was never will be and you are like this cosmos behind me eternal i mean that's a big massive thought that we don't really give ourselves time to contemplate or chew on and you're at a point where the energy is asking you to sit with yourself and consider what it is that you want where can you deepen your relationships, not just with others, but with the self? Where can you be a bit more vulnerable and let down some of your walls in order to allow that space to be filled with your own light? Hmm. Give me chills. Love it. All right. And three. Group three, and it's kind of getting washed out here because this card is so bright. If you chose three, your card is determination, and this is a beautiful card that has this pointed mountain top. You're at a spot here, three. You're almost done with this. If you're looking for a moment where you need to be pushed because you're tired, please ask somebody for help. Please reach out to your support team. Please allow the angels who come into your your day to day that ask if they can give you a hand or maybe open the door for you or take something off your plate literally or in an, in a you know a work type fashion see those messengers as supportive little message guides who have come along to kind of help nudge you along the way you're almost to the top you're pushing yourself forward and this energy is really designed for you to get to the end of this thing that you've been really gnawing at and wanting to accomplish don't give up don't give up don't give up and the color of this yellow is so delicious and lemony and it's coming through with a great burst from the solar plexus which is just saying you got this please don't give up you might not see what it is you want to see yet and this goes back to the how here um, with the previous card 
we don't get to under we don't get to know the how and sometimes you don't know the how ever and sometimes you don't know it until you're five ten years down the road and you look back and go if that didn't happen this couldn't have come to pass and in those moments where you feel maybe a bit of despair can you lean into that and say hey I think this could maybe be one of those moments and maybe I don't get to understand the why but I'm going to keep going anyway because it's something that I'm really passionate about and it's something that I believe in all right chin up keep going don't stop don't stop won't stop can't stop all right so those are the read, uh, the messages this week. I would like to announce the winner of the free intuitive reading with me. Thank you for everyone who participated. I am really, really excited for all of the feedback that I got and um, really excited to hear more about um, the offerings and things that, that I've provided and what you think about the meditation. Um, I think that's really awesome and thank you for your support. And the winner is, drum roll please, Stephanie P. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, I will be reaching out to you via email and we will get something set up for you. Thank you for everyone who uh, participated, for those of you that shared, and um, just love you lots. So please feel free to reach out. We'd love to work with you. Have all kinds of great offerings as you've seen and we will see, and I will check you here next week. Have a beautiful, beautiful week. Keep going. Don't stop. Do your thing. Be you. You're awesome. Fuck yeah. All right. Peace out.